How's it going friends? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be covering some things you need to know about the expeditions. So let's get right into it. So for the expeditions, each of your characters can only start it once. Because each character is only given one battery per day. But it doesn't mean that you can't run multiple expeditions. You are able to run multiple if you join up with friends or anyone else who does have a party open in a public server. With that, being the leader of an expedition does have its benefits. You'll be able to get two extra stamps when you start an expedition, but you'll only get eight if you participate with someone else who is leader. Now, in order to get the 10 or the 8, depending on what you are, you have to finish all of the optional objectives within the um, expeditions. If not, you'll get a little bit of reduced uh, rewards. For example, if you're the leader and you miss one objective, you'll get, I believe, seven stamps and four legendaries. You'll still get a little bit of script and you'll still get one to two modules. Another benefit that you can get from being the leader of an expedition is that when there is a daily challenge to complete an expedition, any of the expeditions, you will be able to complete the daily challenge. Unfortunately, if you are participating or helping someone else who is the leader, you will not get the completion for that daily challenge if you haven't already. But if there is a weekly challenge, all participants of the expedition will be able to complete that, whether you're the leader or the participant. But going back to the topic of rewards, um, for each expedition that you do do, you will be able to get full rewards depending on how many optional objectives you do complete. So if you complete all of the optionals, you will get max rewards for each run that you do. So that's five legendaries, one to two legendary modules, a certain amount of script, 20,000 experience, and a little bit more. Now, a couple quick tips for Ashes to Fire um, Expedition. Union Dues is a little bit straightforward. It's not too difficult. It's actually probably one of the easier expeditions. But Ashes to Fire is a little bit more on the rough side of things. When doing Ashes to Fire, keep an eye out on the optionals wording of the objective. The reason why is because there is a objective where you have to find a fanatic <clears throat> and he will either be out in the trenches or inside the location called Sanctuary. Be sure to keep an eye out on that because you might get stuck for an hour looking for him at the wrong spot. For the second objective, you have to find callers on deceased prisoners. Now, when you enter the inside, it's going to be the first part called Sanctuary. When you finish Danilo's main objective, he'll, you'll have to speak to him to move to the second part, which is, I believe, a chapel or a church. I made the mistake with uh, some teammates that I joined where we sat in there for sanctuary for about an hour looking for the last caller. We searched all over the place and couldn't find it until we went to the chapel. So in short, do not restrict the objectives to only one spot. The wording can be misleading, but look everywhere. Completing the main objective will let you and allow you to continue doing the um, optional objectives if you decide to do so and that about covers it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys found this information useful um if you guys have had some different ex experiences or if there's any information that might be a little bit off please let me know in the comments um again from the time this video is released this is still day one and this is information that i feel like might help anyone who is just starting out or kind of looking into what to do for the expeditions to kind of have a head start but yeah hopefully it's been useful also i wanted to apologize for the lack of i guess content on the screen um things kind of went south with a lot of the recordings cor uh, recordings got corrupted some of the recordings ended up being stills instead so it was just a lot of chaos, but I wanted to get this information out there as much as I possibly could, or as quickly as I possibly could. And yeah, thank you guys so much for understanding, but also, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for watching, and as always, happy hunting, good luck, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!